The following preview has been approved for all audiences. Previously on that blue panda guy. I got the top card, sir. What did I do to deserve to have the best one? There's no real reason why you always seem to be the top of the class. And this isn't on student favoritism. This is based on hard work and dedication of this school year. Now go and enjoy yourself. We are recording this on a Sunday afternoon opposite the side of Chuck E. Cheese's. This new report is targeting towards an individual who stole tickets and ran away. The main witness got a glimpse of the intruder that their hair color was exposed to be a deep strawberry blonde, or ginger tone. Those tickets were really stolen. Correct. Mr. Martin stole those tickets and gave them to you so he could avoid the blame. He will be accountable. The police are involved into the investigation. You are not going to court, nor the rest of your classmates. Do I still get to keep that ticket? Certainly. Hey, Kalu. Mr. Martin, you scared me. What are you doing here? Don't be so creeped out, Kalu. I mean, Kalu. I came to give you a face-to-face -face invitation to another card day at Chuck E. Cheese's once again. Except, better awards, you'd have a high chance of getting the jackpot of 1 billion Chuck E. Cheese tickets. Or, you could trade them to become even more richer than Let Musk. What do you say? That sounds like a lot of baloney. I'm not that stupid, Mr. Martin. As it sounds, it sure does. But you must believe me, I'm rich, and I have proof to show you. Come to Chuck E. Cheese's with me, you'll be missing lots. Hang on, only me in my class who was invited. Haven't I made myself clear? You're my favorite, and best students do assert better from their substitutes. Best students mean best rewards. So then Kalu, what do you say? Wanna hop to my car to Chuck E. Cheese's? This all feels strange, how come there's a card day when it's just me? Oh you won't be alone, there would be a few outsiders attending there. You'd have a chance of meeting new friends. You'll receive a special invitation. Got it, sounds more special. It will be great, you'll enjoy yourself. Now, head to my car. Um, hello. Jared is a silent student. He can't talk and he is very shy. That's why he hides himself. Please give him space. Didn't you say there was going to be more people here? Well, Kalu, good question. We are the early birds. And you know what that means. We can start and leave the rest behind. Treat this like the early bird get the worm. Sir, I haven't got my envelope yet. You don't need to for this type of card day. I have everything from my heart to know what character deserves you the best. Now let's begin, shall we? It's self-explanatory as we've already gone through this before so there's no need to tell you how card day works. You know the route, top first is good and last card is poor. Just the two of you for now. First, Jared. You get the gold card. Congratulations! You've got this card for feeding the homeless people on the street and raised over $2,500 to spread the awareness. Relax, Relax Kayu. Kayu. This, this person, person is probably, probably has a high case of anxiety, anxiety issues due to avoiding social, social contact, contact with another, another human being. being. Don't, Don't let, let their masks mask fool you. you. As for you, Kalu, congratulations, you get the gold yellow card too. You got this card for your hard work at school. Well done. Nice, thanks Mr. Martin. But what does those cards mean? Isn't there a reward? Mr. Martin, what is the reward? Mr. Martin.
What? The power's gone. What the heck? This isn't a real person, it's a doll. Mr. Martin, what's going on? It was all a dream. My goodness gracious, I almost peed myself. Now how am I supposed to sleep now? Sleeping would send me back to the terrifying dream of Mr. Martin. I likely have to switch changing pillows to sleep my head on. That might solve the case. That was the most terrifying dream I have ever had in years. What have I done to deserve this? I gave him the best card ever, and this is what he returns back. For real dad, I'm sick to go to school. I hope that's the truth. Either way, your attendance scores would decrease. You can stay at home. I told you, don't ever eat a banana and drink lemonade together. Were you up to a stupid YouTube challenge? Yes. You're stupid. 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 So then, he wanted to skip substitution because of one bad dream? As I thought getting up to work two hours early was a bad idea. Lesson doesn't begin in one and a half hours. Just great. This day is going to be a challenge. No more card day garbage until further notice. Morning class. Mr. Martin won't be coming in because he refuses to. So you have me instead. What's with the face, Miss Martin? I have mixed feelings for him. Regrets and acceptances. First, I am disappointed of him stealing tickets, and second, he refuses to work because of some stupid dream. I can't even justify how my husband has changed. He was an entirely different person before. And I don't understand why he's being so horrid. And childish. As a grown man. Miss Martin. I have question. If you already know Mr. Martin was a mess in this state. Why would you still allow him to substitute? Listen Leo. I have trust issues with him. I see him as the person he would learn quickly, change and move on from errors. Starting now, I'm beginning to drift away from his trust. Is it a coincidence considering Kalu isn't in today? It's strange, he would text to me immediately when he's absent. My lord, he's not here either. How strange. Was that even necessary? Stop it. <laughs> I'd be calling your manager. America, explain! <laughs>